little bit milder than Tuesday. Yes, it will, Patrick. We're going to up our temperatures by, you know, good four or five degrees from yesterday's highs for most areas. That's going to put us well into the 40s this afternoon away from the coastline. The radar's quiet here in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. I want to show you broader view here, move out of uh, southern New England and show you this batch of precipitation is primarily rain. This is with a warm front. Front's going to be pushing these showers into our area by later this evening. More dry though for the majority of the day today. Our threat tracker future cast is low tonight. Combination of scattered rain showers, but also some fog. We're going to put us up into the medium category. We have that for tomorrow, too. I don't think it'll be an all-day soaking rainfall, but we will see rounds of rain, especially in the afternoon and evening tomorrow, and there could even be an isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures outside right now in the middle 20s, cold and dry. The skies are mostly clear in Providence, Newport and Smithfield. We have a few spots that are down to the low 20s like Westerly and New Bedford, 18 and Taunton right now in about 30 degrees in Boston. Smithfield's uh, reporting 19, Warwick at 26 degrees, Tiverton coming in around 24, and Coventry reporting 24 degrees. So generally low and mid-20s at the bus stop this morning. Kids will need the winter coat in the morning hours. By the afternoon, mid-40s, mostly sunny. It's a cool day. The average high is closer to 50, but we'll at least be into the mid and maybe even a few spots upper 40s here as the afternoon goes on. And take a look at the bigger picture as we zoom out. Not only the batch of rain showers with this warm front, but we're also watching some showers uh, that are coming down across the northern Rockies right now, too. That's going to be a cold front that eventually sweeps our way, and we're going to tap into some moisture, some Gulf moisture, that's going to come up and enhance the rainfall for us, and even give us that potential again for an isolated thunderstorm on Thursday. Let's time this out for you. So heading out this morning, if you're home by 6 o'clock in the evening, I don't think you'll need the rain gear. It's after 6 that will up those shower chances. So we're mostly sunny still at the start of the afternoon, then increasing clouds late. This is 530 in the evening. And here's that batch of green I was mentioning, those showers that will push across the area in the evening hours and continue overnight with some fog, drizzle, and uh, scattered showers. So 6 a.m. on Thursday, a lot of clouds around. Most of the showers fall during the afternoon on Thursday. This is 430. You see these flecks of yellow here. So some heavier downpours and an isolated rumble of thunder possible. We'll hold on to the showers first thing on Friday and then start to clear out the uh, wet weather as we head to uh, the later part of Friday morning. So your seven day future cast mid 40s for today. By tomorrow, we're well into the 50s. Even with the showers and the abundance of clouds, it's going to be a very mild day. So the combination of the rainfall, melting snow, will lead to some localized street poor drainage flooding. I'm still looking at maybe a half an inch to an inch of rainfall with this system by the time we move through Friday morning. So I expect Friday morning to be a little bit damp, but then mild and drier in the afternoon. Still holding on to those temperatures near 51. Notice it cools down for the weekend. Saturday's in the lower 40s, Sunday near 45. So not as cold as the few days that we've just gotten through, but it will be cooler than normal for the weekend.